What up? Welcome to my episode 66 review of Dragon Ball Super. And let me tell you, this was a sick episode. So it starts out with, and I apologize if there's any low quality images. Some of this stuff's hard to get a decent shot of, honestly. You know, and I, I do want to enjoy the episode as, you know, just a Dragon Ball fan as it is. So yeah, so I apologize if any of them are kind of funky quality, and then some are really good quality, and some are bad quality. But either way, so it starts out with uh, Goku just attacking Zamasu all out. And when I say all out, I mean like his arms at the end are just blown out because he's gone so powerful on it. And uh, you see the KO Ken resume, and it's like, dude, that is sick. Beats the crap out of him, essentially. Kinda. That's when you start seeing the, uh, the Zamasu half purple type thing, you know, where he's got like the one side purple that's all melty looking. You've been seeing it online all week, I'm imagining, like I have. Uh, that's where you see that start popping up. And then the Kai kind of explains a little bit that it's his not uh, immortal side. It's kind of like fading away. Or black wasn't immortal, so they overall, I'm, I'm assuming, it is hard to get it out of these subtitles. Even if you watch a professional Dunlun, like Crunchyroll, it's hard to tell what they exactly mean. The way I took it was that his yeah, black was not immortal, and so his side is like decaying. That's what I was seeing at least. And then all of a sudden you see Zamasu like call out uh, justice from the heavens, and he gets this crazy ass purple arm. Then he's just all, it's all melty and huge. No idea what's even going on there, to be honest with you. Uh, I'm assuming he was calling out to, he just says heavens, I think he says, or he says gods or something along those lines, but, um, yeah, he gets this crazy ass arm, and then you see Goku say that, like, there's no other way, man, we have to fuse, and that's when I was like, dude, alright, alright, we're getting into this shit now, man, like, we're getting into this shit, and then the, the, the Kai also explains that, Sorry if this is all jumpy and everything. I'm trying to remember so I can give you guys an honest, you know, just like, boom. Instead of, I could just write this all down and read it to you guys. I'd rather give you guys an actual person who just watched it. And then you kind of get the feel of like, oh shit, okay, you know. Not that's so, sorry if it's a little bit jumpy at that point. But okay, so the Kai, the Supreme Kai of Zamasu's world, or the original Zamasu's world, who tried to kill him, explains that Vegito, the reason that they separated the first time was because that uh, if you're not a Kai, the fusion will last an hour. Awfully convenient, but I mean, I'll take the excuse. It's a standard Akira Toriyama thing, you know, it is what it is. And then uh, they jump right back to where they're just about to fuse. He finally convinces Vegeta to do it. They fuse, and I gotta say, Vegeta's won me over. Vegito has won me over. I've always been a Gogeta fan, and he just, he's won me over, man. He looks so fucking sick. The only way to top it is Gogeta go blue, and then we'll see. That'll probably never happen, but whatever. He looks sick. Gogeta got four, he gets blue. Love it. Awesome, 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 awesome. And then the next thing you know, he's just beating the shit out of him. <laughs> like, honestly, he's beating the crap out of him. Laying in as hard as he can. But as far as you can see, Zamasu is not weak. You know what I mean? He's not, he's not that weak. It's like, relatively even. Until then, he busts out the freaking beam sword. And like, that is, that's by far, you know, the coolest attack. Have you ever watched the original Dragon Ball Z where he fights Super Buu? That is the coolest attack, in my opinion. Where he just slashes through him and then boom, 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 just goes at it, goes to town. They are two very different beings, Gogeta and Vegito. And that's what I love when they show the how different they really are, you know? You got the Big Bang Kamehameha with Gogeta, and then you got the final Kamehameha with uh, Vegito, and it's just, it's just, it's perfect. It's perfect Dragon Ball. You know, that's what we're seeing in Super is perfect Dragon Ball, in my opinion at least, just has a pretty... You know, decent fan. That's just what I'm seeing is perfect Dragon Ball. And then, boom, they lose the fusion real quick. Get their fucking ass laid out. And the Kai explains, you know, they went through their power too fast. That's a pretty standard thing. There's always been a thing with fusion. You know, you go through your power a little bit too fast because you're using so much output. Same thing with Super Saiyan 3. Oh, yeah, you're just doing so much output, so boom, done. I think in the uh, Omega Shenron fight where it was Gogeta, it lasted, what, like five minutes or something? I don't remember exactly what it was. Really, really short one on that one. So they got some good hits in there and everything. But see, then it shows Trunks with some weird... He, like, holds his sword up that's broken. And he, like, screams. And then it, it's not broken anymore. And he has some crazy-looking beam sword. I don't even know. And you see him dash off to the battlefield. Comes in right before, like, they're about to get obliterated by Zamasu at this point. Comes in, boom, blocks it real quick. And... Yeah, and then he proceeds to, I don't even know, he gets like a heaven sword. I don't know how else to explain it. He like, he like shines it straight up, turns like bright blue, it turns huge, stabs it into him, cuts him in half, 
episode ends. So I don't know how else, like, that's... That's pretty much the whole entire episode. Surprised the crap out of me at the very end there. I thought Vegeta was gonna lay in the work. And they were gonna be like, oh, okay, cool, it's not Immortal Side. Dunzo, gone. That's why he dies. No. Fucking trunks. So, we'll have to see what happens next episode. But it was really, 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 really good episode. And that's why I just give you the key points, because I highly recommend you go watch it if you get a free second. It is awesome. Even just in Japanese. The fight scene with Vegito, 100% perfection. So, but yeah, I'm going to leave it there then. If you did enjoy, make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe. You know the standard spiel at the end of every video. And uh, I will see you in the next one. Deuces.